Hi folks, welcome to Uncensored, coming from your very own Malaysia Kini TV. This is actually the first time we are having this show, and I'm your host Francis. Today, we are very proud and honored to welcome a sweet, charming young lady who needs no introduction. Ten years ago, she was uh, famed as Putri Reformasi. Fast forward 10 years, she's now an elected legislator, having won the parliamentary seat of Lampa Pantai. So, Nuriza, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Good to have you here. You are our first guest. Yeah, very proud to be your first guest. Yeah, you, how have life been since uh, March 8th? Uh, very hectic. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, of course, uh, as I said, full of, uh, it's a learning curve. Mm -hmm. been, uh, knowing so much and learning before the election, during the campaign, of course now mm. elected representative as you mentioned. Mm. So all have been very tired and hectic. Uh, time for your family? Um, I try to make as much time as I can mm -hmm. for my eight month old baby. Okay. And of course my, for my husband. Um, so a happy MP. Uh, right. Uh, enough time to spend with the family is going to be a very a well performing mm, MP. Okay. That's my uh, you know motto. You have been known as Putri before Masi. Do you feel like a princess actually? Unfortunately I wish I did. <laughs> I wish I did. Um all this glamour with being uh, you know gracing the cover of magazines. Unfortunately ah. it's much 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 ah. more than that. It's it's not all glamour and uh, it's a lot of work. Ah. Um, you have to be, you kept constantly on your toes and uh, you know, and you also have to take care of your constituency because we do not have Adun. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, it's 56,000 voters and it's just me. Okay, Nuru, you've been on the cover of many magazines. Why isn't someone like Tian Chua, you know, on the cover as well? It's a good question. Yeah. A good question. Why? I recommend that to the magazines. Yeah. Uh, they request for my in interview with me. I will say, no, 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 no. Why don't you approach Chen Chua? Okay. Yeah, Make sure you do that. I'm I sure he loves to be on him. Yeah? Sure, sure, sure. He has a wonderful smile. Okay, I we recall very proudly that uh, as a 17 year old, you went to see President Joseph Estrada. What <laughs> did he actually tell you, the President? Oh, yes. And what should I tell you? Why not? Okay. Sure, surely you you were not there, you know, uh, arrange yeah. my Visma Putra? No. <laughs> Did you know? No, I'm sure they would have done a lot of things to stop me from, from seeing the president uh. of the Philippines. Um, he was very kind, mm -hmm. uh, I would say, bothering on, on being fatherly. And then he said, um, I recall, uh, don't worry. Mm. Before that, he asked questions about my father. He said, we'll do our best uh, you know, to champion his cause. Who say kind? Mm. And when he fell down from grace, did you write him a lot of sympathy? Uh, we communicated a message to him uh, okay. by a mutual friend. Okay. And uh, now, uh, you know, in Philippines, the political landscape is continually changing. So you never, <laughs> never gonna know who's gonna be the next <laughs> president again. So. Okay, I'm sure you have a uh, good upbringing, nah? Good in the sense that we're everything taken care of. Do you feel that you are what a privileged <laughs> daughter? Privileged daughter. I would say um, we were very sheltered. Um, okay. We led a very average life in a sense. Uh, my father was very prudent, very strict in mm. how we should uh, you know, focus on our studies, don't be extravagant in our spending. But yeah, it was very sheltered. Um, we were not really exposed mm. to the things that could go really wrong in mm. Harsh reality before life. Mm. Were you considered special in school? You did receive special treatment during your school days? I mean, to a certain extent, one of the reasons I moved to Asinta mm -hmm. was because I wanted a different experience, um, a different setting. I always grew up with my classmates and okay. from the Sekolah Kebangsaan Bukit Amansara. And certainly, as the daughter of the Deputy Prime Minister of Malaysia, I'm sure they gave me certain preferences. But I would like to think that I also earned um, my right to become a prefect and I studied very hard. And uh, nothing is always perfect in life, but you just have to take it with a pinch mm. of salt and proceed. Okay. Now as the MP for Lumba Pantai, 
What are your priorities for the constituency? There are a few pressing issues in the constituency, and our job as a, as a member of parliament is made more difficult by the fact that institutions, uh, local council, um, such as CBTL, are not performing uh, up to standard. You know, constituency in terms of how they deliver their services to mm. constituents is efficiency. Mm. So, like it or not, we are stuck somehow because uh, their failure to deliver the services means that we would have to show them most of the burden. I focus more on housing issues in terms of the squatters, uh, their problems. It's about 1,050 uh, more squatters living in the Pantai, making sure that. Um, the transfer to local uh, low cost flats are done uh, properly. People who really deserve it get it. But at the same time, uh, other issues such as crime is also a huge concern, not only for the lower income group, also those in Bangsa. Mm. So I, I think the priorities would be basically uh, to ensure that the police decisions work properly and that um, things are being done without with with restricted hanky panky. Okay. Uh, do you have a service center in Lembah Pantai yet? We have um, identified a place. Hmm. Contrary to previous practice, I am going to base it in Pantai Dalam. Uh, oh. We found a shop lot and uh, God willing, we'll open it in probably a week's time. Oh, so you have not had it yet uh, at yeah. the moment. So what we do is, mm. we have uh, myself and the people from the party Kalamak Yat, my division level, we go on uh, on the grassroots basis, meeting up with them and just finding out what are the issues and try to assist them. If we can't help them directly, then we channel them to the, to the right department. And the centre, I tend to also have it manned by volunteers as well. Keep up the community-based spirit alive. It's fair enough. You know, people are, in Bangsa are saying, where is Nunu Iza's <laughs> service centre? She has been yeah, elected yeah, two, three yeah, months. Yeah, and where yeah. is she today? Um, people are not happy, you know? Well, of course you can't please everyone. But what's important is your willingness to listen. Willingness to, you know, perhaps uh, right now the parliamentary session is on. So we um, divide our time accordingly. Parliament sometimes lasts until 12, 12 o'clock at night. So that's not, that's not very nice, but... You know, 